I'll go get it. So vegan or not, I think we can all agree that what we just saw was pretty disgusting. What we just saw was a bunch of people protesting for the death of another person. Now this person just lost their life and these anti-vegans went to the slaughterhouse where animal rights activist Regan Russell, who was killed a bit over a month ago, she was ran over by a live transport truck. If you still don't know about this incident, I suggest you go read about it and then come back to this video. But recently some videos surfaced on the internet talking about um, the counters. There was actually counter protesters to those who were protesting in the memory of Regan Russell. Now to that, I have to say this is downright disgusting. Imagine if there was a group of people coming to a Black Lives Matter protest and saying, well, George Floyd deserved to die because of this reason. A Black Lives Matter mob would just right away come and just murder all of them. So before you say vegans are the cruel ones or the militant ones, go try that at a Black Lives Matter protest and see how successful you are. Because if you did, I'm pretty sure you would be dead. Now, literally, these anti-vegans came to the protest. It was a peaceful protest. Um, the vegans are there like every Thursday. The um, animal rights safe group, they're always there. Just bearing witness to the pigs. They had to stop the truck for a few seconds. And um, I don't support just standing in front of trucks, but there's victims inv involved. You know, these animals, they, they just want to give them a last few seconds of comfort before, they, before their lives get ended for no reason anyway. So... And that saying, I say it's justified, but I don't support just standing in front of trucks. But when there's a vic there's multiple victims involved, I'd say just stop the truck and let the pigs get their last, you know, moments of comfort. Is that too much to ask for animals that are going to be murdered either way? You know, I read an article online and apparently it got pretty crazy. You know, um, women showed up with this flag that said. Uh, safety first or whatever, like don't stand in front of trucks. And when they st stood in front of trucks, the women with the, uh, holding the flag saying safety first were trying to justify Reagan to death. They were trying to push animal rights activists the street. with their signs. So they basically don't even want the animal rights activists um, comforting the pigs. So it's not even just about Reagan. It's just about them having an issue with animal rights activists, um, you know, being kind to pigs, which... I'm not sure why you would take time out of your day to stop somebody else from being kind to animals. I mean, you must have a pretty horrible life or maybe your parents got killed by a, a war hog when you, were, when you were younger. I don't know what situation you would have to be in to be that much of a disgusting person to, you know, try and stop a vegan from showing compassion to animals or just to any person in general. You don't even have to be vegan. But these people intentionally came over to this protest, to this slaughterhouse, and held signs that said, you know, her, uh, Reagan's death was justified. They also said that Reagan committed suicide, which even if you just stood in front of a truck, that's not suicide. That's like saying, okay, a blind person stepped in front of a truck. How is it suicide if they never saw anything coming? But... That wasn't the case here. Reagan saw what was coming, but this slaughterhouse truck uh, truck driver was just very cruel, apparently. And, you know, once again, people still don't even know whether this guy, if he killed, you know, how he killed her, if it was intentional or not. Because apparently he had a very vicious and um, just harmful look in his, in his eye. He, he wanted to harm the animal rights activists anyway, according to Vegan Games video. Again, that'll be in the description if you want to check that out. Um, I suggest you watch this video on it. He explained that in a lot of detail, but I just wanted to show this news to you guys and just present it on my YouTube channel in memory of Reagan Russell because I haven't made a video about her yet in this entire situation. It's just, it's totally sad. It's, it's really sad. I do want to add that Vegan Games also uploaded another video of her where people went and, you know, gave these speeches or whatever about her. Um, her husband showed up and they gave basically updates on the investigations going on. And um, just hearing about it, I, I cried watching that video. So I'll link that down there as well. I suggest you go, guys, go check that out. It's very sad that we lost such a good person like this. And it's even more sad to see that we have disgusting people in this world who are in support of killing good people. With this type of stuff going on, world peace is never going to be accomplished. But anyways, I'll also leave the article and basically everything I mentioned in this video down below. I'm going to let you guys check that out for yourselves and just... Very sad event going on here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and 
be sure to click that subscribe button as always. And once again, I also have a GoFundMe if you want to support me. I just need some money for some video creating equipment, you know, setup or whatever, you know, so I can create some really nice high quality videos for you guys. Some, you know, just better content overall. So that would help a lot. Remember, stay vegan for the animals and I'll see you next time.